Hey guys, so I thought I would film for you Sephora haul part two. Um, super casual today. I'm not even wearing any makeup. Um, it's Memorial Day and I'm relaxed and I thought I would film the second part of the Sephora haul and I have everything in this box. So, um, yeah, super casual. No makeup, you can see. And really honestly, I just felt like I needed to wash my face and I just, it's been a long day and I just had a headache and sometimes just taking it all off is really all you need and I feel so much better and so I thought I would film for you guys bare-faced, natural, you know, that's how it goes sometimes. But I hope you guys enjoy this video and please subscribe if you already haven't and I would really appreciate it and let's get started. So the first thing in this Sephora box is um it's the wrong way is this sephora favorites um beauty on the fly bag and it looks like this and it has so many products in here um this was 42 dollars and it has um 108 dollars worth of products and um you get a, well let me just open it up and the first thing about this bag that I love is that it comes with this travel Ziploc bag that you can put your liquid liquids in which is amazing um, normally I just put it in a Ziploc bag but now that I have this I think that works even better and I'm gonna be traveling in a couple weeks so that makes it even easier but the first thing is in here in bubble wrap um, the first thing in this is a tart guard never tried this before and I'm going to Antigua so that's kind of awesome to have like a little sunscreen for your face um, another thing in here is a Sunday Riley Luna sleeping oil and one of the reasons why I bought this is because I want want to try this Luna sleep oil actually quite a few of the products in here is, are things that I really wanted to try and I felt like because it was in here and you hit a value sized small um, because you get a small value sized product, amount of product in here, I thought this was a great way to try things that I've been wanting to try for such a long time. Um, the next thing in here is this Jolique, Jolique, um, Rose Water Balancing Mist. I actually have tried this before. I really do love it. Let's spray it on my face right now. It smells, this is, if you're looking for a rose water, this is, I've tried a few. I've tried the one by Mario Badescu, um, and that one's a good too, but this one smells the closest to rose, and it comes like, it looks like this. It's this really cute glass bottle, and I love it. This is now the second one I've had. Another thing in this bag is a Sephora micellar water. I love micellar water. I use it as the next, the second step after I use makeup remover to wipe off all my makeup, I use my cellar water as a second step um, to cleanse whatever residue is left from the makeup off my face. You also get a caviar anti-aging replenishing moisture shampoo and conditioner. Um, I have tried this before and I love them. They're amazing for travel. Um, super hydrating, super amazing. I don't use this all the time. Normally my go-to shampoo is Dove, um, but I ha I do love these. The next thing in here is a La Vanilla Healthy Deodorant Solid Stick. I've never tried this before, but I've heard so many people like them. But I've also heard so many people say that it gives you BO, so I don't know. My deodorant normally is Dove, but this is a small travel size, so maybe I'll give it a go. Though I'm going to be traveling where it's really hot and humid, so maybe I don't want to try it then. I don't know. But we'll see. I'll let you guys know what I think about this. I've never tried the healthy deodorant before, but some people like it. Some people don't. It's a hit or miss, so we'll see. Um, the next thing in the bag is a Murad Intensive C Radiance Peel. It's a sample size. Oops. <laughs> It's a sample size mask. Um, I never tried that one before and I love the Murad um, anti-aging mark removing, I don't know what it's called, step one removing of the marks. I use that every day to remove acne scars that I have on my face. Um, and then this, another thing in here is the Kate Somerville Exfoliate. Um, it's a two minute facial. 
um, which is cool. I've never tried this before. I haven't actually tried anything by Kate Somerville, so I'm excited to try that out. You also get an Ole Hendrickson Sheer Transformation Facial Cream. Um, let me feel it. Smells not that great. It feels really good, and that's all that matters. Ooh, it kind of has like a tingling, cooling feeling, which is nice. So we'll see how that works out. Um, you got an Origins Skin, Original Skin Rose Clay Mask. Um, I love Origins Ginseng Cream, as well as the Origins um, Nitamins Cream, and those are my daily um, skincare routines, so I'm really excited to try out this mask. I've been wanting to try it out for so long, and I just didn't want to buy a full size. In case I didn't like it, so it's really good that it comes with this sample size because I have tried the Origins Charcoal Mask, um, and I hate that mask. It made my skin so irritated, I just could not handle it. So hopefully this is better. Um, and then you also get a L'Occitane um, Shower Gel. I think this is their almond one. Um, I've heard several people talk about this and they love it so much. Never tried it before. It smells really good. We'll see how this goes. I love the L'Occitane um, Lavender Bath. Bubble Bath is my favorite bubble bath of all time. So hopefully I'll love this. And then you get a Bumble and Bumble Equal Parts Dry Shampoo Style Extender Powder. Um, I've only tried a couple things by Bumble and Bumble and I liked those products. I just never really went out and bought additional stuff. So hopefully this is amazing. Um, I'm going to take this with me and see how this works and I'll let you guys know. Um, and then the last thing in here is an egg cream mask. I've been wanting to try this mask for so long so I'm so happy it's in here. Um, it's a hyper hypoallergenic sheet mask. Um, and it's by the brand Too Cool for School. So it's so cute though. I mean, like, look at this packaging. And egg masks are supposedly very good for your skin. You can make them at, your, at home yourself. Just take an egg and usually people take the egg white and use it on their face. Also, eggs are very good for your hair um, as a deep conditioning. So egg is used for various things other than just eating them. <laughs> the next thing I purchased is a Cinema Secrets um, makeup brush cleanser. This is their brush cleanser and cleansing tin. I've never tried Cinema Secrets blush cleanser, but blush brush cleanser before. So that's why I wanted to give it a go. And you get this nifty tin to clean your brushes in, which is cool. I normally just use a glass bowl um, to dip the brush into whatever I'm using to clean. But I um, I've heard so many great reviews on this cleanser, so I'm really excited to try this out. Um, and then another thing I got is the Becca Jaclyn Hill Champagne Collection. I have already gotten the face uh, champagne face palette. Um, I think that's what it's called. But um, I wanted the um, eye palette as well because I've never tried any Becca shadows before, and this one looks beautiful. Um, I feel like it's the perfect travel palette and it looks like this and I am in love with this shade. Um, normally this is the kind of shade that I use as a transition shade for my, um, like look how pigmented that is. This is what I use as a trans transition shade on my crease and I feel like this is just the perfect palette to travel with. You have everything you need for an eye look. Um, you can mix it up, um, do just a soft smoky, you can do an intense smoky. I mean, it's just so beautiful. I don't have everything in the collection, but I do have two things, so I'll do a little mini tutorial using that, and I'm really excited for this. I'm going to travel, so I think this is the perfect palette for that. Um, it's just so sleek and beautiful, and I just, I mean, look at this. It's so gorgeous. Like, it's just so, so beautiful, and I do love that it has a mirror with a hinge. I hate it when mirrors just like fall and you have to fold them back. It's just really annoying. I also love the fact that this is really compact and a nice portion size and that you have the names of the colors on the back so you know what you're using on your eyes. The last thing I purchased is the Vitamin C by Drunk Elephant from a Serum. It's the 
firming and brightening serum. I love this. I have a little small size that I'm pretty much almost done with. It's lasted me six months, with it, which is pretty awesome. It's literally like this tiny little bottle and it's lasted for so long. But I thought I needed the full size because it's the first time a vitamin C solution has not irritated or broken out or, you know, just not worked for me. And this is the first vitamin C serum that just so amazing on my skin. Um, it's a very potent vitamin C, but it's not potent to where it irritates and bothers your skin, which is amazing. I use it in the mor every morning um, along with my ginseng um, by Origins cream. So I'm loving this as a firming, tightening, brightening solution for my face. Um, and then the last things in here are always samples. I think in order to get the most out of your Sephora purchase, you do need to use the codes, the samples, and you know, try things out. I think that's the best way to utilize your Sephora, Sephora purchase. Otherwise, you're going to feel like you spent so much money and not to get your money's worth. So the first thing is, is that I got my new VIB Rouge. Um, and this year you get, let me take this out. Um, you get the little booklet thing that I've never ever looked at before. Um, I guess it just tells you your benefits. Never really looked at that before. And you get a little mini NARS blush. Um, the only NARS blush I have is the NARS orgasm blush. And then I, their favorite, my favorite contour powder is the NARS Gahina, Gahini, Gahina, I don't even know how to say it, palette. But, so... But um, it's cool to get a little mini NARS blush. Ooh, that's pretty. Ooh, that's pretty. Um, it's very pink satin blush. And it, this is in the shade Gulu. Gulu. NARS has the weirdest names for their products, I swear to God. So this is the NARS Gulu. Gulu. Something or other um, blush. And it's so cute. Like, look how tiny this is. Um, perfect for traveling, perfect for slipping in your purse or your little makeup bag. Um, so really cute. Um, and then I got a sample of the Bosha White Charcoal Setting Spray. This is the second sample that I've gotten because I kind of break up my orders a little bit just so I can get more samples. Um, just what I do because I feel like if you're gonna give you, if they're gonna give you a sample, you should take it. And I do like this setting spray mixed with another sample that I got which is the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray that comes in this instruction book. Um, and you get it in here and you get a little mini um, sample size of the Urban Decay Setting Spray and this is 0.5 fluid ounces, so a pretty good size sample, as well as this is one fluid ounces of the Bosha Setting Spray. And I love to pair these two together. I feel like I, the, both of these, this mattifies a little bit and this completely just locks it into your skin. So if you are in a humid, disgusting, nasty weather place, for me, this works very well. Like this locks it in all day. And I never have to powder with the combination of the two. Um, and then the last couple of samples I got, the first one is the Amiga Perk Up Dry Shampoo. Um, really cute little size dry shampoo. I've been wanting to try this brand out, so it's really cool that I got a sample size of it. And then the Caudalie, um, Micellar Water. I love Micellar Water, and I love trying new brands. I've heard, um, a couple of people talk about this. It smells good. Um, I think it was Tati from Glam Life Guru. She talked about the Caudalie, Caudalie, that's how you pronounce it. Caudalie, Caudalie, I think, um, Micellar Water. And she said that it was really great. So it's good that I got a sample size of this and I got to try it out because I love trying out my cellar waters. My favorite one so far is the Bioderma one and then I'm trying out the um, Garnier micellar water right now but I'll let you guys know how I feel about it. I've only used it a couple times but so far I like it um, but right now my favorite is still Bioderma so it's cool that I get to try this one as well as the Sephora one. And then the last two things in here um, are the Nitamins Oil. Um, I've been wanting to try out the oil for so long, so these are two little mini sample size of the Nitamins Oil, and I've been wanting to try this out for a really long time um, before I actually purchased it, so I got two little samples of that, as well as the 
Reloxin Lift um, Instant Smoothing Masks. Um, and I've heard Tati swear by these by Glam, Glam Life Guru. And I been wanting to try them and so I got two sample size masks for each one time use and these are really expensive so I'm so excited that I got a sample size of this so I can try it out. So I'm excited to try these out and that completes the Sephora haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, no more hauls for a long while but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and bear it with me on my bare face but I thought we would keep it casual today. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!